Hello. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to state up front. Thank you, by the way, to the two that donated. Thank you very much. It helped pay for the. It helped a lot. It helped to pay for the things that that I'm that that I need that I've needed for what's going on. So thank you. But I want to go ahead and give a warning up front that this is graphic, and if you can't stand the sight of blood, just don't watch this. But here we go. So my mouth suddenly, as I was gargling with salt water this morning. I was swishing with salt with salt water after I had taken the Augmentin and doxycycline. Well, right after I was gargling, see I could barely even open my mouth, my jaw was swollen, my, it, the pain would just throb and sharp pains, it feels like you're having a needle stuck in it over and over, and all of a sudden it just burst out. And blood just started gushing out of the out of the hole. This is a hollow tooth back in there that I have. It's just it's a hollow tooth. And the gum was open, the cavity burst out, and the the what was going this was going wrapping around my root. This right there. That organism of pus was wrapping deep down to my root. You can see it all the way through there, even even down into there. And that was wrapping around into my root. That's why I've been in so much pain. That's that's blood, and it just, I, I, I mean, I, that right there is a some sort of a that that looks like part of the abscess. That's tissue and everything, and it was from the inside, deep, deep inside there, and it forced out this morning. It just gushed out, and blood started. I just started bleeding everywhere, and I was. Then later, the pain came back. It started circulating, just circulating, and building up again, though. And then finally, it's eased off for now. But I was in such excruciating pain that I. Now I'm gonna have to make the next thing I'm gonna have to do is make an appointment to have them remove that that tooth, but. But that's that's the next thing. To have them remove the tooth and the root and all that. So I'll show you sometime very soon what it looks like. But you should have seen my mouth was suddenly just completely filled with blood. There was that much blood in my mouth. It was just dark red blood all in my mouth. And you can see right there where that organism goes all the way down. That this it's like that pus and it's it's pretty graphic I just I want to tell you but that's what came out this morning and it left little I don't know there were weird there were weird parts to it but that's it that's so much blood and everything drained out of my mouth and every once in a while, just like right now, it starts to just, pins and needles start, and it just starts to just, pow, 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 it just starts to throb. Now, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I hope and pray that this never comes back, what I'm dealing with. I hope that the pain just eases off and stays away. I hope it just stays gone. But... I'm hoping it stays gone but I'm starting to get feeling again feeling back I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel sharp pains again right now so I hope they don't come back I know there's bound to be more infection or something in there but that's what's going on right now and that thing right there that long thing literally came out of that long thing right there just literally came out of my just burst out of my tooth it's crazy it was it was crazy
My throat's still very sore and swollen, but that's what happened. And my jaw is still very sore. Wow, the wind's getting up. There's loud thunder happening now. Wasn't even supposed to storm today. They changed it. There was no storms. I guess now it's going to. The weather now changes quicker than they can even keep up with it. But that's what that's the update. Much love. And I hope and pray that that it doesn't come back. I mean, I'm, it's still there, but I hope and pray that it doesn't get worse again. Because I haven't been able to eat or drink. I just could, I could just barely. I drank water and some juice and lots of broth. I had a chicken noodle soup and couldn't even chew that. I had to throw part of it out and give it to the animals because I couldn't couldn't chew chicken noodle soup. My mouth wouldn't bite down anymore either. So this was the best view that I could get of it. And there's the some white infection part right there. And there's the there part of the tooth is there, but then there's that hollow spot and the blood gushed out from the left there. And I've been in such excruciating pain inside the mouth. It's and all of my jaw and throat throat swelling. It's been awful. It has not been pleasant. There, but as you can see, there's only a wall of half the tooth left. And um, that's what I was dealing with. These are the ones that the dentist did several years ago. They did a good job on those. I've been running a consistent body temperature of 100 to 102. It's been 100, 101, 102 pretty much consistently all this time. But yeah, that blood and that, that that abscess that stretched all the way into the nerve, there it is. Part of it. I hope that it's gone. I hope there's, I know that it feels like there's more, but I don't know. All I know is I hope that it's better. Signing out.